this is the urinary bladder in front of you. This in transfer section of a female age 47 years. She has gone hysterectomy. She has had surgical intervention. The cervix was removed a couple of years back because of fibroids. And as I move the probe 90 degrees, I get the longitudinal view of the urinary bladder. And at the same time, I see this uh, area around the right lateral margin of the urinary bladder. Now this area is uh, full of internal echoes. This is the area. This is the area that is uh, full of, and these are the echoes, sand-like particles that you are seeing within it. And uh, within it, you are seeing these ecogenic areas without any shadowing. And these are uh, trapped bubble segments if we see uh, in, in depth. Now when I move the probe upwards in the right upper lower and the right lower quadrant, I still see this uh, flexion with hypogenic material, the bubble, these are the shadows from the this is the shadow from the bubble. Typical bubble shadow, this is the bubble, and this is uh, uh, an uh, flexion sand-like particles, internal echoes, and if you see in uh, detail, let's magnify, you will see movements in it. I am not moving the probe, but you can see the movement in this debris, all debris. So, and these are the bowel segments within it. Patient gives the history of temperature, high grade fever, with no other, uh, I do not have any other lab investigations or uh, clinical notes with me. So, uh, now this is the urinary bladder again. I am going to bring it to the normal. Now you see that uh, it, this correction, this is the urinary bladder in one material section, this is the urinary bladder, this is the collection with trap bowels. And here when I move the probe upwards and enter the right lower abdominal quadrant, I get the same. And this is, this finding is very much consistent with appendicular abscess, ruptured, ruptured appendicular abscess or pelvic abscess will be the second differential, third will be uh, hemorrhagic cyst that has uh, ruptured, ruptured hemorrhagic cyst is the third. So, it has a total volume of approximately uh, 500 cc, 500 ml, when I measure. Now this is a picture of consistent width and uh, see where I am. I am scanning from this angle. I started from here. In this transfer section, then I moved the probe longitudinally and then I went up in this section up to the air or abdominal quadrant and I got the air from this up to this level. I got this. This is the collection at the lower abdominal quadrant and here I'm coming down. This is the urinary bladder and this is the Access or collection, pelvic collection.
it's difficult without any investigative procedures or lab procedures, uh, lab profile to, to say with confidence that whether it is uh, a bleed or excess. Anyway, this is the uh, this is what we should. I, I will report my findings. That's all. Rest lies now with the dressing physician to go for the further investigation. Now this is the, you see, no calcification as I can seen in this. So, there. Yeah. This is the urinary bladder and this is the collection. These are full of internal echoes that are floating and mobile with trapped bowel segments as well as necrotic material. Necrotic material or uh, degenerative areas or healing areas, healing areas uh, within an abscess will also appear as these ecogenic areas without any shadowing. Thank you.